Being a first generation American has definitely helped me connect with my students. Uh, being that most of our student population uh, is first generation American or even immigrants themselves. It has helped me empathize with their struggle for preserving their cultural norms uh, along with the assimilation of the westernized cultures. It has helped me understand their angst uh, in terms of home life and school life, friend life, work life. One major thing that's helped me connect with my students also is that being raised by an immigrant family has helped me understand the financial struggles that we go through. Even though we are of different cultures, we also go through the same things, the same experiences uh, growing up in, in, in an immigrant family. So overall, that has helped me become more compassionate and more caring and more understanding as an educator. I feel like I embrace the American culture and my parents' culture equally. Uh, when I'm at home, I revert back to a Chinese boy who listens to my parents, more respectful than usual. But the American culture has taught me to become independent, and I feel like that's great in terms of keeping a balance between being very family-oriented, caring about their needs, being there whenever I'm needed, as well as also looking out for myself and pursuing my own dreams. But the funny thing about American culture is about how caring I see everything is, at least in the media. And that has helped me kind of empathize with my parents even more to understand where they're coming from. So amazingly, the American culture has helped me embrace my parents' culture and vice versa. My name is Nalarina Sanchez. My dad is from Guadalajara, Jalisco, and my mom is from Mexico Lepe. And I was born in Hayward, California. So in my parents' culture, well, it started with them speaking Spanish to me. So a lot of the things that like came from their culture was speaking Spanish and mainly the tradition of like having a quinceañera and like mainly um, being Catholic as well. Um, a lot of the culture comes from like food or also like embracing yourself and embracing your own culture, like being Latina, helping other people. Um, we're super humble. Well, as in my, my family, we learn to be humble and be respectful and respecting our elders. So I feel like a lot of the culture comes from like being respectful to other people, being respectful to other cultures, and also like embracing like Latino music. Um, so yeah, I think that's the culture that really embraced onto my life, and I feel like I would send that to my own kids. I'm first generation, so my parents were born in Mexico, and I was I'm an American. So I feel like it's really important to like keep going like throughout generations with your culture because it's really beautiful to like know that other people come from different cultures and you from yourself come from a Latino culture and from that comes a lot of like a lot of history a lot of embracing like your ancestors culture other people that are Latinos as well like went through a lot of things in order for us to get a lot of respect here in America um, so I feel like it's really important to embrace your culture in order to make a change and in order for us to feel as equal as other people here in America. California is pretty like diverse, but when you come to situations where like people don't agree that like maybe your parents shouldn't be here or like that they don't understand the, why you speak Spanish when you should be speaking English. But I feel like it's, it's really beautiful to like be able to defend your parents knowing that you're an American, but you also know that you're Latina. So I embrace really my Latino side but I do acknowledge that I am an American like girl. So when it comes to like American things, like me like talking English to my parents, like they're fine with it, but like they prefer me talking in Spanish. And when it comes to them needing something in English, like they really want to learn. And I'm glad that I'm able to like help them like know how to say something or how to communicate with someone. I think it's the advantages are that you learn a lot. And I feel like a lot of based on our culture is a lot of like values. You take those values and like you keep going with them and it just makes you such a great person. My favorite part of having two cultures is that I'm able to share my culture with other people that don't share the same culture as me. For example, like all the food we eat or all the music we listen to or for example, the different traditions like Dia de los Muertos. Um, I feel like knowing about your ancestors and knowing that you're a Latina is really like powerful. I think it's really important for people that have a different culture to embrace their culture, especially because not a lot of people know about our culture and I feel like we're all based upon like the American history or American culture and I feel like it's important to embrace who you are, which is for me is being a Latina and knowing that my parents did a hard work to get here and knowing that like 
They want the best for me and knowing that they want my culture to go on to my children. To let them know that they come from a culture that is accepted and should be accepted, should be embraced by whatever, whether, whether or not you're like Latino or not, whatever culture you are, you should really embrace it. My name's Joe Vistosa. Uh, I'm from the Philippines. My mom and dad are both from the Philippines. I'd say there's some parts of the Filipino culture I embrace and there's some parts of American culture that I embrace because like there's always like good and bad things in culture, different cultures. It, there's not really like a perfect culture to embrace. It's always good to you know to the languages. It's fun like you can switch from pero to but. Yes. That's great. <laughs> and uh, food, there's a lot of like uh, good food in the Philippines that um, it's not like stereotypical burgers and fries. Not saying that that's a bad thing, but you know, culture, food, great. And for like um, characteristics and stuff, uh, how Filipinos are. Uh, it's good that they're usually like happy-go-lucky in like bad, disastrous uh, events. I think it's always um, important to like remember where your roots are because like it's what who you are. Um, I mean, you're also an American that, and you should also like embrace that. But what molded you as a person, you should always go back to your roots. See this brown? It's beautiful, right? Yes. Brown is beautiful. Any type of brown, any type of tone, beautiful. Embrace your culture. <laughs> Did you record that? <laughs>